What's going on everybody? CGA the Notorious One back in here with another video. Today, we're going to take you through a couple of things, an idea about how to invest in yourself. I know you hear a lot of men, maybe people who are on YouTube that tell you to invest in yourself and you might be like, what does that mean? What does invest in yourself mean? Does it mean the amount of money that you make in a particular month? You put to the side and invest in, in a, a, a business, stocks, bonds, real estate, land. Uh, do you, is that what they mean, invest by yourself, or do they mean something else? Well, uh, for me, I mean something else, but it could be in addition to, you know, you take a certain pool of your money, 10%, 15%, and then you put it into some sort of investment vehicle that you think you're going to get a return in during the long haul. But in the blue chip mindset or the money mindset, we teach investing yourself in these five or six ways and one of them is reading books and reading books obviously can get you to a certain place where you didn't understand something and especially if you find somebody that is inspirational in your life you can get a book that they've written and then particularly apply some of the principles that you've read to the book or from the book and apply them to your life now you don't have to apply everything and you don't have to necessarily apply uh, the things that doesn't work for you, right? So say for instance, you read a book and 20, 30% of it is something that you wanna adapt and 80% of it is something that you don't wanna do anything or you don't want any part of. That's simple. Just go ahead and do that, take what you don't like, throw it away, and then eventually you'll read another book or find someone else inspirational that you can apply an additional uh, couple percentage points, right, of their philosophy, emerge and create your own philosophy Right. I always tell people, have your own manifesto, have your own philosophy, have your own ideas and have it written down so that people can they can go back to it and then they can see what your thoughts are at that particular moment. And if they're in the same space, then people will be willing to accept that and understand what you mean. Sometimes you can put your philosophy, your manifesto out there and people still believe they'll probably probably put some ideas of what you believe. Um, and they'll say, uh, this is what you believe. And I'll say, no, it's not. My manifesto will always go back and refer to that. So first of all, you write, you read books, find someone who you love. Then you apply whatever you learn from that. Then you go to the next one. Now, at some particular time, you've had a philosophy from a few people that you admire. Then you might be able to write your own book or your own philosophy, your own manifesto to live by. Instead of trying to always find books to find the way to live life, right? Take what you like, take what you like from a lot of other people, then create your own. All right, the next thing to invest in yourself, obviously, is your body, right? Fitness-wise, health-wise, we all know that if you um, are in good shape or you're using fitness, you have the probably the the um, idea, like, like you can actually become a little bit more happier, healthier. It helps your emotions. And that's a good way to invest in yourself because if you're not working out, if you're not getting your blood pumping and your heart pumping and all of those things, odds are you're not going to be able to uh, be happy in your life. You're going to be depressed and down. And sometimes when you get that adrenaline pumping, you get your heart rate pumping and all of those things, that's a good way to invest in yourself emotionally over long periods of time. And not only that, if you have a vanity purpose for working out, that's definitely going to help you out. And then you'll extend your life by working out you probably will i can't guarantee that but you probably will have a likelihood of extending your life and then of course if you're eating the right things and focusing on them not consuming too many drugs or any drugs not too much alcohol right smoking you actually extend your life okay some things about being your health uh, your best health you got to start early and it compounds as you go some people try to turn health around their they're out of shape in 30s and if that's you you want to start getting in shape but some people think that they're going to turn it around when they want to turn it around and that's not true you're out of shape now you wait 10 years you start your program you know it helps but it's better to just do um, something small incrementally when you're younger that way you compound your health uh, your healthy lifestyles uh, that much further and down the line, right? That's like, you know, the same thing. People love to do drugs, illicit drugs, some drugs that they believe should be legalized. But over time, you're compounding. You're missing a compounding effect of uh, maintaining good health earlier. And then you're trying to play catch up later. So try not to do that. Invest in your body, invest in your health. The next way to invest in yourself is to recognize a talent 
Recognizing a talent is everything. Somebody's gonna tell you, you're good at this, you're good at speaking, you're good at editing, you're good at creating this, you're good at wood making, you're good at painting, you're good at art, you're good at, the they're gonna tell you what you're good at, meaning that's what they would like to see you do and they'd be willing to invest in you, right? If you're good at painting, Maybe that that might be something that people will invest in if they continue to give you those good, good, positive feedbacks. Right. But sometimes we don't want to do it. You might say, oh, I don't want to do it. I might be safe if I have a little job over here where you could have a side business by uh, recognizing your talents. Usually people will tell you what those talents are and then you find a way to uh, put some work in front of people that maybe they can invest in you. So recognize your talent is going to be a big one. The next one, create a body of work. Okay, again, you recognize your talent, you create a body of work. You're good at playing music, create a body of work of uh, showing people what your, your talent is and then potentially you can show them uh, become a teacher and then you can show people how to do it. That's recognizing your talent and then creating a body of work. Maybe you create videos or you write things down or you document or you instruct, you break down and or maybe you break down other people's um, music that is similar to yours and that's the way you create a body of work and that body of work is lasting and that potentially can get you some residual income okay you write a book or you paint something uh, it can get you commission work it can get you work that potentially could be passive our favorite words residual passive right and so those things are things that you do when you create a body of work so if you're good at something you now have to duplicate that process or at least become an instructor. That way your talent lives on and you have something to reference when you're teaching people. Okay, all right, so what's the last two? The last two is to uh, be apprentice, apprentice under, under someone. If you wanna invest in yourself, find somebody who is knowledgeable about a certain area that you're interested in and apprentice under them for a period of time. All right, these people might say, hey, I'll train you for three months because they need something right they need they need something for their business and then you say hey i can work for you for a month two or three months just teach me anything and everything i'm a sponge i want to soak up the knowledge and gain and then potentially you can work on um, helping that person out on business and getting a portion of sales or a portion of the information that you're out there reaching for so apprenticing is a great way if you just say well i don't have time or money to apprentice i have to continue being you know focusing on my goal to be an manager manager at my subway and i have to go to work today i don't have time to apprentice well that's just missed opportunities for you uh, i apprentice up under someone under a mortgage business i learned a lot of tools i learned a lot under him and i apprenticed under him for like six months and then he essentially started paying me for it to work and he paid me a very good salary just to apprentice and continue to learn from him and i was able to use that as a side hustle but not only that not only that i was able to learn about the industry ins and outs and try to avoid some of the traps and pitfalls that a lot of people without information who are somewhat ignorant they don't know how to jump over so now i don't make the same mistakes that the normies do the regular ham and egger and um you know when you talk about homes and buying homes and getting mortgages and look at what to look out for i know what to look out for and i know where the risks are and when somebody says something hey you should get this adjustable rate or you should do this at a time where the the rates are going up significantly and they have no chance of coming down in a relatively short period of time i know to dodge it right i know to dodge those things where other people don't so that apprenticing helped me save money yeah maybe i not might not have gotten paid but i saved probably hundreds of thousands of dollars by apprenticing okay last one is learn tools this is a way a great way to invest in yourself learn tools Okay, whatever it is, a tool could be anything related to digital tools, um, editing tools, specifically for this, you can learn tools, um, physical tools, hammer saws, learn tools there, instruments, these are great tools. It doesn't matter what type of tools you are, right? Um, it could be a plane, a bus, a train, a motorcycle, right? Fixing motorcycles and all of these things. Somebody's always gonna need this information, right? They're always gonna need help in these areas. And if you learn tools, will learn to work with your hands, you'll probably never be out of business. You always will probably be in demand. Like people that know how to cut hair, do hair, right? People are gonna need that all the time. So that's a great way to invest in yourself. And there's never a day you're wasting when you're learning how to use tools, right? And tools, you learn one tool, you'll learn the next tool, and those things will live with you forever, and you will be always in demand and in the market. So anyway, 
I don't know, man. These these videos are somewhat just impromptu, and um, I don't know, man. I'm not gonna edit them and all of that stuff. I might be standing too close to the camera. I don't know. But anyway, shout out to the coach gang. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'm out. Peace.